Hi, my name is Dave Mosinski with Sly Incorporated. In this video clip, I'm going to show you how to properly measure a top load snap band style filter bag in order to obtain a quotation. On the table here, I have an example of a short snap band style bag. You can see the snap band in top. This one happens to come with a braided stainless steel ground wire, which is actually sewn all the way to the full length of the seam. On the other side, we have a sewn disc on the bottom, and in this case, the seam along the uh, along the length is sewn, or it, we do offer it in welded as well. There are several dimensions we'll need in order to provide a quotation. You might have this information in your OEM manual or on your drawings, but if not, one of the dimensions we need is the diameter of, of the bag. A simple way to determine this is to lay your bag completely flat, put a tape measure across it, and measure the flat width. In this sample, you can see that this measures nine and a quarter inches, which equates to a five and seven eighths inch diameter filter bag. Another dimension we need is the length. You're going to need another person to help you with this dimension because the overall length of your bag is going to be significantly longer than this two foot sample bag. And it's important that the bag be taut in order to get an accurate dimension. One of the methods of measuring is from the top of the filter bag to the first stitch of the disc bottom. Another way of measuring would be from the top to the bottom of the bag. A third method would be from the center line of the of the snap band to the first stitch of the disc bottom. Any of these methods are acceptable, just please let us know which method you use to measure your filter bag in order for us to provide a proper quote. The next dimension we need is a tube sheet hole diameter. This is where the snap band on the top of the bag fits into. This is a critical, critical dimension because we want to make sure that you don't get leaks in your dust collector. If you don't have the dimension from your IOM manual, you will physically need to go up to your dust collector and measure with a pair of calipers your tube sheet hole diameter. Your bag may be supplied with some special options. A couple of the more common ones is a bottom wire cuff and a ground wire. With regards to the ground wire, it's typically either stainless steel, braided stainless steel or braided copper. It's sewn the entire length of the bag inside of the seam and has a pigtail or an extension that goes beyond the top of the bag. What we'll need to know is the material of the, uh, of the pigtail the length of the pigtail from the top of the bag, and whether or not it has a terminal on the end of it. With regards to the wear cuff, this truly can be any length, but in this case we have a 3 inch wear cuff on the bottom of this bag, and you can see the difference between a standard disc bottom and the wear cuff. And what this does is it gives an additional layer of material to help prevent damage to the bag, which could cause leaks. And finally, we're going to need to know the filter media that your bags are made of could be polyester, an aramid, a Nomex, uh, fiberglass. If you're not sure what that media is, you don't have any documentation or lost your manuals, send us a bag. We'll do the dimensions, we'll determine what the media is, and quite frankly, that would be preferred for us anyway. And by the way, make sure you visit our website at slyink.com for all your air pollution control needs.